Hey everyone, welcome back to another Shiny Bright Doggo video. Here we are at the thrift store. We are going to go thrifting, but we also did a little something yesterday, didn't we, Laura? We did. We did something totally different for us. Completely different for us. We sold at a flea market, which is something that we've kind of wanted to try and do um, just to like see what it's like. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted to try it because you know, growing up, I've always gone to flea markets and I've always wondered what is it like to be on the other end of that rather than just buying, you know? Yeah. And we also um, have a lot of stuff to move. We have a lot of stuff that we wanted to just move quickly in one day without shipping. So we thought this was a great opportunity. So we filmed a little bit of our experience and we are going to share that with you all in a moment. And then we'll also talk about like how we feel about it mm -hmm. and will we do it again? And was it worth it? Was it worth it for us? Yeah. Did we have fun and all that fun stuff? So yeah, we're going to bring you back in time and we're going to head over to the flea market. Wait a second, before the video starts, I wanna let everyone know that we're having an Instagram live sale over on our Instagram, which is also Shiny Bright Doggo. It will be tomorrow, which is Wednesday, June 29th at Laura. 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We hope to see you guys there. We're selling a lot, a ton of uh, vintage yeah. Christmas in <laughs> lots. So you'll get yeah, tons of five stuff. Five to 10 pieces per lot. It's gonna be crazy, it's gonna be fun, but back to the video. We are getting the car packed for the flea market. Um, it's a lot of work. It's 90 degrees out today and it's gonna be 90 degrees out tomorrow at the flea market. Um, but I'll show you guys the car. We thought we had a ton and we do have a ton, but um, it's taking up less space than we thought. The RAV4 is definitely coming in handy. I'll show you guys. So I'd say we're about 95% um, packed and we actually still have some space. It's good, I'll be able to sort of see out the back window. We're trying to be as prepared as possible. This is our first flea market and um, we're excited. We're excited to move some stuff, hopefully make some money. If not, We'll just hopefully have a fun time. Hi, Janine. It's about 6 a.m. Is it, is it only 6? Last I checked, it was 5.40, and we are all set up. It took a while. Yeah, we should put sunscreen on. And here is what we're selling. We have a lot. Tell you guys how it goes. We sold quite a bit already. Um, some highlights are the blow molds, and we got some Christmas trees without the base. But we are excited. Okay, so I'm doing a little bit of um, exploring on my own. Janine's back at the booth, and we're gonna see if we can find anything interesting. It is what time? 8:30, I think. About. Yeah. And it is very hot out, so. Wow, look at all the cat stuff. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. Back. <laughs> Cute cats. Yeah. Oh, there's some broken mouse. Wow. Those, but not all of these. Yeah. That one's interesting. Definitely not my style. No. I wonder where they all came from. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. Me. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. 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 I really like this one. This one with the little party hat. Oh, that's so cool. I do have a dollar for him. Napa? I have that one. Have that one? That mm -hmm. one's a nice one. Yeah. Here we go. Here's a new layer. Wow. What kind of cats are you on the lookout for? Me? Yeah. Um, I like the cute ones. The cute ones, okay. Yeah. Those are cute. That's kind of cute. Hallmark? Is that <laughs> I think so. Looks like it. Wow. 
at all these. Yeah, but, but I couldn't. All these cats on the table. Yeah, I, I have two Fentons. Emily has some fun ones. Oh, then we could do it all together. Yeah, we could do it all together. Yeah. Are these the ones that you looked through, Emily? Yeah. You don't like this one? Oh, yeah, look oh, at that. That's, very broken, that's too bad. Yeah. This one's cute. Yeah, I know. There's still a lot of nice ones. But... Did you like go through it? Go through it or not really? I went through every one of them. Oh, every single one? Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. This cute. one's cute. There's a strawberry. That's like that's chocolate, isn't it? Yeah. That's cool. That's nice. The candle. Oh, I think these are the prices. Tiny. Yes, small. those are the prices. Okay. Cute. I think I'm just going to get the Fentons because I'm not really a cat person. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me there's dogs though. What about this one? Oh, I'm missing a ton. Okay. Okay. Yeah, good thing they weren't dogs, otherwise we'd have um something trick in our hands. Yeah, those are Avon, I think. Yeah, right? Yeah. So cats. Oh my oh, god, there's so I many. Didn't you didn't see this box? Oh, that one's cute. Oh, that is the way it's sitting. Like, it's like yeah, it's pretty cute. Oh, that's really cute, too. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Do you like any of them? Oh, that one's cute with a little heart. Nice to sign these ones. Yeah. Oh, that one with its little tail broken off. Yeah, there was one that had the Oh, does it sell the tail? It okay, does I'll repair it. It I'll matches. Repair. You like that one? Uh, the Siamese cat is nice. I have to save those. Yeah, those are the ones like that I don't get, okay. even though they're old and nice. Mm. Got some Halloween over here. They're all new in the packages, but I don't know, I'm not like digging the look of them to resell. Hmm. Bunch of these, Janine has these. I don't think anything here for us, but I'll do a double checking. Hey guys, so it is about 11 o'clock. It is so hot out. I think it's like, do we have a temperature read, Janine? I think it was 85. 85, like no shade. We have umbrellas though. Um, we've sold a good amount of stuff. A lot of Pyrex stuff. Advice, Janine, for first time flea market sellers as a first time flea market seller? Water, ice. Water, ice, ice baby. I don't know if you guys see out there. That's, that's the thrift store, we're back. We're going in now. We did our flea market shenanigans and now we're back at our home turf. Got a little September angel here, but unfortunately her wings are broken off and she's still $4.99. Um, so obviously I'm not gonna pick her up for resale. If you find one in good condition, she's probably worth about $20, give or take. She's really cute though. And I think she's a Napco, but she's missing her sticker. Furbies. Do you see them? Uh, I see one plastic one. I see quite a few plastic ones. Oh, they're all together in the bag. Can you I, see them? I just, like, looking at all the other bags. <laughs> Look at them, they're all in there. Wow. One, two, three, four, five for eight dollars. That's not too bad. That's actually pretty good if you want to collect these. We have actually maybe the whole collection that we got from an estate sale. Um, but look at them all in there. These are like classic 90s. This is from our childhood for sure. Exciting. The Plastic Boys. Yeah, the Plastic Boys. What's that? I found this. I thought it was pretty cool. It reminded me of the um, 
um, old mad balls. I'll put in a picture here of what I'm referencing, but he's pretty cool, I thought. He's fun. Shopkins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at it. Little denim orca. Cute. <laughs> Some Webkins. This little boot toy is cute. Fisher Price Paul long lacing shoes. This looks older. It's $4. The bottom's wooden. Oh, here it is. Made in USA. 1970. How fun. What a fun toy. It's in pretty good condition considering how old it is. Probably just needs a clean up. Cute. Is it Briar Pony for you? $6. It's got a little bit of stuff on him though. It is. A, it's pretty big too. Is that a good one? Um, you know, it's pretty scuffed up, but it actually has a little bit of weight to it. Um, and the fact that it does have this, like, golden purple, uh, on there, I would say, me I w it would be something that I would look up, mm. but, um, for six dollars, it's a little bit of a gamble, but some of these, like, bigger ones can go for a lot of money. For me, it's a little dusty and dirty. Definitely was on someone's shelf, hanging out for a while. Um, but that's Janine's uh, reselling tip of the day. Yeah, I mean, I'm not an expert on um, dryer ponies at all, so I will uh, Google this with the little lens. If I could get a level space for it, I'll have to hold it. I just found a bag of like little things that I think Janine's really gonna like. I'm gonna pull it up from the shelf. Um, 90s little Halloween toys. We'll see her reaction. Um, can I show you something? Uh, not yet. I'm sorry. How about now? No, sorry. Give me one second. Give me a pony and then you expect me to just like abandon pony ship, you know? hard to tell which ones are which yeah um can i just update on the pony situation okay. it's very hard to figure out which are which but this could potentially from what i'm seeing be like a 40 dollar pony so oh, wow. more you know more um, ponies i want to show you this wait wait where are you going i want to show you this gets me very excited i knew it <laughs> what i was like let's see how excited you just got <laughs> <laughs> um you, what is this this is, a, this is a bag of, 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 I was like speechless, right? Because I'm so excited. <laughs> this is a bag of little Halloween finger puppets and like doodads. Oh no. They, they veer more on like the cute side and... But there is this guy. Oh. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Now that guy's cool. Uh, How uh, much is the bag? $4.99. Oh, we got pink is 25% off, so he'll probably be like, um, four-ish dollars. Oh, yes, look at that one. That's really mm -hmm. cute. And this little spinning top. And a kazoo. And this little, aww, it's one little light cap. Oh, these are pretty cute. Okay. Well, have to think about it. Good eye, good find. Let's look for more. <laughs> Who knows why she picked up the bag? I don't know why. But... <laughs> well, look at Tiny Batman. That's really why. Okay. <laughs> they just brought out um two two me. new carts, and um I grabbed this bag of ponies off of it because look who's in it. Sparkle. No. No, it's Sparkle. A, uh, it's, I was gonna say Sparkle Eyes. No, I was gonna say that's her name. I know it's not her name. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ivy. I was a G2 girl, and she was my favorite. And she's got a little crown, and then there's and another one in here, too. Pony oh no, this bag's open. Stable mate? Yeah. Okay. So that might be a Briar Pony stable mate, and then we've got another G2. 
in there. The the, oh, it's only $3. Yeah, the chaos. Oh, boy. This bag oh. is open. I found another one, and I didn't realize it was open, and there's little guys falling out of it now. Okay, and be careful. why is this? Oh, it's a magnet? I gotta put this one back. It's hard to put things in a bag through a camera. Yeah. <laughs> um, so two G2 ponies, including Ivy, which aren't that collectible, actually. G2 is not... Yeah, it's Some not like more the popular ones. one. Yeah. But you know, honestly, G1 though, like Generation 1, you can, they are pretty cheap. Online? Yeah, they're yeah. not that expensive. Yeah. I you mean, get a lot of them. I don't know. You want, like, unless you get the... What's the word? Unless you get like the rare ones. Mm. There is this like little... What is this? Oh, it's a little... It's a little baby one. What do you think about this? $2.99 is not It's really not bad. No. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Bye again. There's new cars if you want to check them out. Okay. Welcome. This is a pretty glass. It reminds me of like a Libby. Snowflake? Huh. It's only one here though. What? Is this pretty? Oh, there's two. There's another one. Oh, there's a few actually. Glassware is the last thing I need to pick up. I'm gonna use Google Lens to look this up. There's a bag, says, did you see this, and runs away. Oh. Who are they? There's Marcus, what? A Lufton sticker. Here, here, let me help you. Lufton. Luftons? Take your glass. Thank you. Uh, they're pretty uh, anthropomorphic, if you're not. They uh, are, different. what are, are they people? This one's a fork. That was a fork. Should have probably come with a spoon at one point. Well, I didn't check. How much is it? Not bad. Is there more? I don't know if there's more. It's a pretty fun find, Janine. Right? They're cute. Look at their little faces. These are scarecrows? That's what I was trying to figure out. I don't think they're snowmen. <laughs> snowmen? They're whatever you really want them to be, I guess. They're cute. Do you like them? I mean, they're different. They are different. You know, I mean, I think, I think they're cart worthy. Yeah, they're definitely older. I mean, they're left. So wow. interesting. They've got the um, bedazzled eyes, which fall out a lot of the time. They're holding a shovel and a little broom. They're real cute. I'll put them in the cart for you. Thank you. You're welcome. I like that bowl. Um. Is now the time when I leave the cart with you? I said I'm not taking that cart. Oh. You said I need a cart to drop these. Fine. Sorry, we gotta get the cart right now. But I like to run around the place. Yep. see that dog teapot. Okay, we're on the lookout for a dog teapot. Did you see this? That's cute. This is newer, but it's cute. I like his face. All right, let's look for that dog teapot. We found the dog teapot. Pretty cute. What? Did you see her? I did. Her wings broken. are broken off. Yeah. Yep. So I thought you. Uh, I did. I have some things to show you. Okay. Um, I found this, which sort of spoke like mid-century to me. It's marked MMA, and it is like a thing. Like it's an actual company. It might be uranium, oh. and it could probably sell for like twelve to fifteen dollars on its own, but six dollars, so I probably won't get it. But pretty fun, right? Yeah, that's really cool. And then, what else did I find? I found something else. Oh, these little forks just like spoke to me. Aren't you know, they pretty? I just want to say, like, I, thought, I, I saw this earlier and uh -huh. I didn't look at it because I thought it looked like... New? Too new yeah, like mass produced new. I guess I know enough about glassware. I don't know, it just looked like older to me. Mm -hmm. And then these little forks, which just like are so oh, to me. Aren't they really cute? <laughs> They're really cute. I love them. For our wedding. How? Like, um, um, if we are serving little somethings in a dish. <laughs> okay, for maybe. People to, okay, okay. I'm going to put them in the card. And then these are probably a really good pickup. Um, they're $3 each, but what is that? That's $9. Probably sell the whole set for like 30 plus shipping. You mean those three? Yeah, because they're the pink ones. They are made by um, Anchor Hawking. Oh, wow. So I don't know if I'm going to actually pick them up, but... It's all fun find for sure, and I don't know about the ponies either, but we had some fun stuff in the cart. Oh, how cool. They're old charcoal pencils. Wow, look at that packaging. Like push that out. 
careful here. Yeah. Wait, maybe if I don't do this. <laughs> Oh yeah, they're the ones that you push back? Yep. Wow. That's so cool. And they looked on eBay and they sell. Yeah? Yeah. Come on, they put the sticker right there. Yeah. A little bit of steam. Really fun. Nice. Some vintage sheets here. So a full for $10. I think it's the flat. Holly Hobby. Right? Oh, maybe not. Yeah, no, that's Holly Hobby. You can tell by her dress. Very cute. And then we've got these Mickey Mouse ones. These are $30, so expensive. How cool. It's got that older Mickey face too. Got the pillowcase too. Amazing. For $8, I have a Snoopy. That's not too bad, 1971. Maybe there's like a lot of stains on it or something. Yeah, there's a lot of stains actually. And then another Mickey Mouse for 15. More Mickey Mouse, a little old, newer. 15. How cute! Isn't it really nice? I really do like it actually. This little lid? With the wooden handle. That's cute. It's in pretty good condition. Um, and then did you see this? I did, but I didn't pick it up because of the condition. I think it would clean it would up clean fine. Up really nicely. Yeah, it would. I think yeah. it's called Flamingo, the color, really but like I'm done with Pyrex. <laughs> I just sold a bunch of the flea market, and look, I can't pick up anymore. This little satchel is a, is oh, a, young is a lounge fly. Lounge fly? It's a young fly. It's a young fly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I must still be tired. Um, cute, isn't lounge it? Fly. That is cute. Cool that is cute. I found something I wanted to show you. What's and that? And then I found this piece to a Lionel uh, train track mm -hmm. that I wanted to look at. $2. I found this. I'm upset that it's a seven dollar bag because it's a bunch of um soccer patches but look at this one what does it say i can't see it's it. um mount 19th olive? annual mount olive halloween uh classic, classic. Oh, soccer so cool. club isn't that cute and our dog's name is olive that's fun but seven dollars for the whole thing so this is are what i really want to pick up the most because i probably could get 30 plus shipping on them they're really cute they're fun to sell for me personally because they're just I like them myself, but um, not something I feel like shipping and want to hold on to and store um, for the time being. So I am going to put them back for somebody else, but they are really cool and exciting to find at the thrift store. Hey, Janine. Yeah. They just rolled new carts out and look what was on one of them. A little pet shop, like the original. Oh. I wonder if there's anything in it. There. Let's open it. How do you do this? Slide. Oh. And then this should. There's the original oh. ones. Oh my god, they're in there. Those are the ones I had. Yeah, these are the original ones. These were the best ones in my opinion. Wow. I loved the little, like, I guess this one. Oh yeah, like those like, little cages type things. How fun. 1992. Wow. Oh my gosh. I'm going to look up comps, but like how excited. Look, everything's in here. Aww. That's really, it's $8. Wow. Yeah. I pulled it right off the cart. I'm going to look it up. How cool though. Yeah, amazing. In pretty good condition. Yeah. Hmm. I'll look it up. Being out here finding Hager. I don't know what to look up for this Um. Though. How much is it? Five dollars. Mm. It's got those like mold marks. Mm -hmm. Twelve. No, it's two. That's two five something. Two five eight. Well, Google Lens didn't say. I think I'm gonna pick this up. It's missing the awning. It's not in the best condition on the outside, but there are some sold comps for like different um, lots. And um, it's just so fun. Oh, yeah, so It'd be fun to go through too. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'll get it. Consensus is a no. Very, it's, a no. it's a very common. Very common one. Yep. Lots of listings, but not a lot of sold. A collector, that's a good price. That's true. Okay. Can't believe this. One oh. of the little Oh um, Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I don't know how to D or it. something, right? Hmm? Doesn't it begin with a D or something? Um 
Yeah, and I don't think this is like the brand brand name. I don't know. He's cute though. He is cute, isn't he? Isn't he? Isn't he? <laughs> I was wrong. You were wrong about this little tiny horse. That's okay. What was I wrong about? A $15 little horse. Oh. I'm sorry. Good for you. You gotta get him? I don't know. It's $2.99. <laughs> He's the only one in there. I found so. this guy. I like his little feet. <laughs> I'm trying to find Laura. I mean, what are the odds? She just found one of these. This is the other color. This is insane. Oh my gosh, here. Oh my god, she's going to be like so surprised. She goes so quickly. She's such, so fast. She's ridiculously fast. That's Can you so believe funny. that? No. Right? I found the other color. Is there stuff inside? I don't know. I didn't open it. I just have to snap this back on. Oh no accessories or anything in here no just like but that is so funny i don't even know the price i was just like this is crazy what are the odds that's so funny the odds honestly i guess are not as slim as we would think just so isn't that crazy though like crazy. finding the different color version of this little pet shop Play set from 1992 at a different location of the same thrift store. We're keeping vibes. Strong secret keeping vibes? Don't say that to me. You think she's here? I don't know. This looks like disgusting and old. 94. And there's just like little, like, I don't know. Older plush. If there's a secret keepings in here, the whole thrift store would know because I'd be screaming about it. <laughs> oh, look, Janine. Oh, it's a cute one. It's like slowly unloading there. Oh, of the doll. Oh. oh. How cute is he? He's cute. I like this ugly doll. I would literally lose it if there was a secret keepings. Oh, look, another one. <laughs> wow. Another ugly doll. This guy's a little older. He's like a stiff one. Oh, cute. Yeah, there are some older plush. Oh, hello. Just a little guy. Just a little guy. There's just a little guy down there. <laughs> I've never seen a secret keepings in the flesh, so I don't know how big they are. I, I imagine they're probably about this big. Like a Care Bear size. Like this. That's a little bigger. Yeah. But one day I'll find out. This is like a bear that I feel like you would like, Janine. Faster. Yeah. yeah. He's older. Hmm. I don't think there's any secret keepings. Are you kidding me? I know, I know. Every yeah, single time. You know? like, like you can feel it? No, yeah. There's definitely some older um, plush in here. Without a doubt. Oh, look, it's like the... this guy? Geico. We both pulled out. Gecko puppet. Oh, interesting. I like this little toucan. He's cute. Isn't he cute? He Superior toy. Of, uh, made in Korea. Reminds me of the um, Disney ride. The Tiki. Yes, I know what you're talking about. Tiki room? He's cute. I like him. Oh, look. Who has a baby? Oh, no. It's a baby. Oh, I made it like 10 times cuter. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, stop. <laughs> oh, no. Put them back. Oh, no. You, like, pull out a third. <laughs> it's like, like ten so more. It's like, it gets progressively smaller. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, like this yeah. big. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're really cute, though. That was cute. I know I was supposed to leave you and look around and look around the thrift store, but look what I just found at the end of the toy aisle. It's wow. like oh, a tiny ornament bag of all different types. 1991. A lot of 1991 scene. Mm. The turkey. How fun. And it's only $2. Do you want any mm -hmm. tiny charred babies? Like Linda Belcher? Can't no. say that I need them. Okay, I'll put them back. I love these two. I love their silly little lambs. Looks like my dog, but they're not in great condition. They're also $5. So, I'm not gonna pick them up, but look how cute. Pretty different, never really seen them before. 
How fun are these? I love them, but I love them as a set. Sort of expensive, ten dollars, and then each of these is eight dollars, so eight, sixteen, twenty-four, thirty-four dollars for all four of them. A little, is this a mug? No, just like a little votive. How fun! And it's ninety-nine cents. Oh. Definitely different. Love that pumpkin. What'd you find? Oh, my oh I just God. noticed it's all shipped. Uh, but that's really cute. Yeah, and it's funny. We just I just found the pin. Right. Um, I just found the pin not that long ago to the same place. I think Anoka, it's Anoka. Minnesota. Yeah, the shipping is um questionable. The place that we have to go to. Yeah, we should definitely go. One year. Oh. But yeah, it does look like they restocked the uh, books. It was looking a little sparse in the past few weeks, so it's exciting. Did you look a lot or not really? Uh, I just started actually. Mm, okay, yeah. I'll help you. Called, Jean called me over, she said she found something. <gasps> I found this once before. Is that like the OG Scooby-Doo book? I don't think so. Oh, that's so cool. Actually, I don't know if it's the same. I think it's the same one. How oh, amazing. That's so cool. Can I see? Yeah, it looks like there might be some other cool ones. 49 cents. Sarah, you're on here? 1975. So, I don't know when Scooby Doo came out. 68? 65. That's cool, though. Janine, show, show what you found. <gasps> she found a second one. Scooby-Doo and the Haunted Doghouse. How cool. Wow. Scooby-Doo came out in 1969. All right, you ready? Yeah. I'm going to record your reaction. Is it good? <gasps> I've never seen that before. She's a happy camper. Let's see when this is from. It might be a little bit newer than I was thinking. 91. 91. <gasps> and it's like Garfield and Mystery. It can go on the Halloween bookshelf. Yeah. Nice one. Thank you. It was right over here somewhere. What, what the, Stop. Wait, you, you would look so confused a second ago. Because I've never in my life seen. Can you just this show us the face that you had when you saw this poodle? I don't know what the face was, but it's a briar. <laughs> never in your life. I've never in my life seen <laughs> a briar. A briar poodle. Poodle. Is it plastic? It's like, yeah, I guess so. You gotta look that one up. That's interesting. That is so cool. She's very confused. I'm She's like, taken aback. <laughs> Pretty planter here for $5. And it's um one of those ones that I never know the maker of. <laughs> It's cool though. I like the shape. Yeah. Right? That's fun. Yeah. So, Janine did a little eBay search. Mm hmm. And? This is a 1950s. 1950s? 1950s. Briars, is that old? Yeah. 1950s Briar Poodle, standard oh. poodle. Okay. And it can go for like $40, $50. Wow. Can I see? Yeah. It's like not, it's definitely heavier than like the other Briar oh, ponies, absolutely. right? Yeah. That's I mean, why I always, when I pick up... <laughs> what? I've just like fallen into this pony niche thing. Like it just like, <laughs> just like, I don't know. Um, when I pick up like new briar ponies, or I pick up a pony, like I feel it in my, the weight of it <laughs> in my hand. And if it's heavier, then, and then I know it's probably older. <laughs> hey, can we just show that like vintage briars uh, logo? Oh, it still pretty much looks like that today. Oh yeah, I guess so. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's a good poodle there. That's, it's really cool. It's, it's, please stop looking at me like that. So Janine, we are about more than 24 hours past when we did the flea market. What are your thoughts on it? How did it go? I think it went well. It was the hottest day of the year so far for us, I think. It was like 90 degrees and um, we were just like right in the sun. So it was very hot and 
uh, I think that made it very exhausting for us. But I did have fun all in all. I mean, we had to get up super early in the morning. Um, the preparation was a little new to us, but we did have fun. At least I did. <laughs> yeah, like Janine said, I think we had a lot of fun. It was fun to see what people picked up, what they were interested in. It was a lot of work in the heat. I think the heat mm -hmm. really put a damper on things. If it was a cooler day, it might have been a bit easier for us. Um, and we sold over in Connecticut and we live in Jersey. So we did a pit stop at Janine's parents' house and a lot of logistics involved. Was it worth it for us? We made $474 in total. The booth itself cost us $75, I want to say. So we made about $400 profit for what we sold. Um, and I think the, what we sold, we were definitely giving people bargains. We just wanted to move it out. Um, I think it was worth it for moving stuff that we wouldn't have moved otherwise. Like it mm -hmm. wasn't stuff that we quite wanted to sell online or ship through, you know, mail. We had blow mold and stuff. For, so for that reason, I think it was worth it. But if we did it again, I think it would be in the cooler months. Yeah, I have to agree with you, Laura, especially the heat. The heat was, it was just really a lot of heat That's and we were like breaking down tables and moving yeah. bins like so something that i enjoyed though like mm -hmm. i really enjoyed was seeing what people um bought like what they're carrying around what people are interested in that we were selling and like like i guess like the the people watching and observing mm -hmm. like of that um that whole like the fl also that was really cool seeing like who came in first what mm -hmm. were they looking for the waves of people that came in at the different times was so ama like amazing to watch to me. I thought it was just really interesting. Very cool. Um, newfound respect for um, all of the flea market vendors. Yeah. Um, doing that weekend after weekend, that is amazing. Um, you have to be a certain type of person to do it. And total props to them. But, um... Will we do it again? Maybe. Will we do it at Elephant Trunk? Probably not. Probably not. Unless it was a colder month. Yeah, only because it is farther away for us. And we chose Elephant Trunk for a few reasons. Yeah, we chose Elephant Trunk for a few reasons. Um, one being that we've gone there so many times. We know the flea market. Um, another is the price. Mm -hmm. um, another is that we... We felt that the buyers for what we had might be there more so than some of the other flea markets we go to. And it was busy. There was a big mm -hmm. turnout, considering um, the heat. Yeah, considering the heat. If you're not familiar with the Elephant Trunk Flea Market, they um, you have to pay to get in. So if you want to get in early, you can pay like $20. You can get in... As a buyer. As a buyer mm -hmm. for like $20 and get in really early before everyone else. And we thought that might... Uh, be good for us and um, we did make a bulk of sales right we right did. in the beginning yep. so yeah yep just a lot of factors to think about if you are interested in doing a flea market and this is not your full-time job yeah it's really just that initial profit also we had to buy tables yeah that ate into our profit a little bit but we feel we'll be using those things over and over so it's mm -hmm. an investment really more so for us but yeah I enjoyed the experience um, overall like it's fun that like we can say now like yeah we have sold at a flea market mm -hmm. um we know what, what that's like we can i guess have that in our wheelhouse <laughs> i don't know <laughs> but uh yeah it's um all the all the respect out there to all the flea market vendors because it is really hard I feel it's like a lot really of work. work yeah jean we forgot to say goodbye i know silly us we've just been <laughs> it really drained us but thanks for joining us guys we had a lot of fun happy to have brought you along for our first flea market yeah and just a quick reminder laura that tomorrow yes. we're having a sale on instagram yes and it will be wednesday june 29th at 7 30 p.m eastern standard we're doing an instagram live sale so make sure to check us out over there thanks for joining us guys see you next time bye, bye.